Hello and welcome to episode 27 of Cooking Every Food in the Game. We have returned once again and for the final time to the Gnome Stronghold in the Grand Tree and we are standing next to our buddy Hudo. For the last time today we will be stealing from his kitchen cabinet four gnome bowls as we will be making gnome bowls today. All right, so let's trade Hudo and start with our favorite precursor, the Jian Do. Let's buy four of those and use those all on our gnome bowl molds to obtain a raw gnome bowl. All right, so just like with our other gnome foods, we'll be cooking this twice. All right, we'll cook all of them first to obtain a half-baked bowl and what we'll see here again we have a beautiful gnome bowl interface All right so we can click on each one and it will show us the ingredients required All right so why don't we go from left to right and start with the wormhole which doesn't sound particularly delicious if you ask me it doesn't sound too enticing but it looks like we're going to need four king worms two onion, and a gnome spice. Let's use our royal seed pod. And let's run to collect our ingredients for the final time. I hope through these in videos of cooking all the gnome foods, I've encouraged even a single person to come and try gnome cooking, or even try gnome restaurant, the mini game. If you would like to see me play Gnome Restaurant uh, and go deliver some food to the people of Gillinor, let me know down in the comments. We may even obtain some lovely cosmetics from doing the activity. Right, so we've got our four king worms. Now let's take four swamp toads. Excellent. And we'll rip those legs off now. Sorry, buddies. And we'll use our seed pod to get back into the grand tree. Alright, so one, two onions, and our gnome spice. Now we saw recently the use of human spice when making a stew. Luckily this gnome spice will never expire and will stay with us throughout our cooking journey. Alright, so let's click on our wormhole and create that. All right, and then we see the message, you just need to bake this and garnish with equa leaves to complete. Right, so let's use that half-made bowl on the gnome cooker to cook that one. Why don't we obtain an unfinished bowl? All right, Hudo, give us those equa leaves. Buy one of those. And we'll use that with our unfinished bowl to obtain a wormhole. Fantastic. Next, we have the vegetable bowl. This one looks more simple. Two onions, two potatoes. All right, come here, champ. I just bought five onions. Whoops. That's all right. We'll make good use of those. Vegetable. Perfect. So now we need to bake and garnish with equa leaves again. Use that half-made bowl with a gnome cooker. And we'll need some more equa leaves. Here we go. Garnish. And there's a veg ball. Oh, I like that. That one looks delicious. Okay, next we have the... Tangled toad's legs. So we need two cheese, two equa leaves, and some dwellberries. All right. So Hudo, hook us up. Two cheese, two equa leaves, and dwellberries. Tangled toad's legs. Perfect. And we've got our toad legs there, and of course our gnome spice. All right. We need just need to bake it. Let's have. A little snack first. Let's eat some onions. Mmm, yummy. Alright, let's half made bowl into tangled toad's legs. Mm. Finally, we're making dessert, the chocolate bomb. One equa leaf and four chocolate bars. Hudo. He's got the hookup. One, two, three, four chocolate bars. Let's prepare that now. 
Fantastic. We need to bake this. Garnish with two pots of cream and chocolate dust. Okay. Let's cook that. And we'll buy one chocolate dust and two pots of cream. Use our chocolate dust with the unfinished bowl there. We pour over an obscene amount of cream and dust with chocolate dust. Mmm. To be fair, a good dessert. Right, so obviously our main course here would be our veg ball, followed by a lovely dessert of the chocolate bomb. Where our wormhole and our tangled toes legs, I guess we'll leave that up to our friends to eat. But I enjoyed that, and I hope you have as well. We've finished our gnome adventure. Thanks very much, Hudo. I appreciate that. Sorry we stole so much from your cupboard. Maybe if we drop these gnome bowls on the ground, he'll put them back in the cupboard for us. Thanks, buddy. As for you all, please subscribe if you've been enjoying our journey. Uh, and I'll see you next time.